Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are doing something a little bit different. Today is an unboxing video! Ta -da! I've never done one of these but it's gonna be so exciting because today I have a new toy to play around with. This is gonna be an addition to my Ceph cluster back there and I'm really excited to start using it. It's actually something that could be a start of a home raid system that you could have as your NAS or something like that. And it's powered by Raspberry Pi. It's done by CubeSale. And it's a Pi Box! Yes, I got one of these. So this was a Kickstarter. And uh, they can you can buy them now. There has been some kind of ship shortage, so it took a while for me to actually get it. Um, I saw this on Jeff Gerling's video and directly thought, okay, this is right up my alley. I need one of these. I need to do, just buy it and have it. And I actually prepared a little bit. So I bought this little hard drive that I should put into it. And I'm gonna open it now. Let's see if I can open a box. Um, this is a really dull scissor, so let's see if we can do anything about that. Put some more pressure on it. Here we go! <laughs> so let's see here. Hello Kickstarter backers! We are incredibly thankful for your support as the setup instructions are on the flip side and we are here to help along the way. We are now shipping batches regularly and would love you to help getting the word out. And that's what I'm doing right now. And it's just scan this code and visit the, the site and to enable to set, up, set it up. And ooh, I got a little bit of a decal here which says happy hacking, Pybox, CPU and so on. Um, so I wonder if that is something that you put on or if that is the display window. Hope not. Oh, ho, ho. let's see here. In the box we have, of course, USB-C and a lamp connect. <laughs> so you can actually turn it off. I don't know why I would like to do that, but okay. So it's a USB-C cable. You have an antenna, probably for Wi-Fi. And then you have the Pi Box. Hey, <laughs> look at that beauty. <laughs> so that was everything in the case, I believe. So let's put that away and put that away. So let's see here. This little thing is has an LCD screen in, in the top here. And it says Pi Box. And then we have some LEDs here for disk, CPU, and power. And on the flip side, we have screen. So this is an HDMI. We have internet connector. Normal, I believe, at least a gigabyte connection. Maybe 2.5. Um, two USB and the power USB-C. And we also have a little bit of an air vent here, I believe. I don't think that is a card reader. I think it's an air vent. And let's see how should we open this one because I really want to get into it. We see that we have two small screws down here. So that's probably it. My current is a little bit big. So I'm gonna get another one. Yes, fetching the tiny tools so we can open this one. Let's go for it. One screw here. And then another screw. Let's see what that gives us. Could we just open it now? And, and we have a fan up here. It's a normal... Um, hmm. Or do we slide it open? We slide it open. Glorious. Ah, there we go. So we see that we have a Nocho fan up there. Really nice. And then we have this motherboard with a Pi. Uh, 8 gigabytes 
uh, Pi 4. And then we have two disc trays down here on this uh, flip board. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's see if we can get a focus on that. Uh, so the motherboard is into this. I should I turn it like that? So you see two slots down there. And those you could put hard drives into. So you should be able to have two hard drives in here. The problem though is that this hard drive isn't an SSD. It's a two and a half, half, half uh, inches HDD. So it's actually a little bit thicker than a normal SDD. And uh, so I'm not sure how that works. There we have the scissors. Let's put that to work. To get in here. So I'm not sure that I can actually put it in here. I'm gonna give it a hardy try because you see that it is a, quite a bit thicker. Um, okay. So I might not be able to set two drives in here, but I should be able to put one drive in. Hmm. That was unfortunate. They were so tight. So it's really done for SSDs. And if I want to change that up, I actually need to remove this 3D, 3D printer thing here. Let's see if that is removable or if that is part of the chassis. It doesn't look like it. It looks like something that you can remove. So let's see if we can do that. It's very hard fitted in here, but yeah, you can actually remove it uh, like that. And then I wonder if, if you can bend a little bit and get it out of these grooves here in order to move it. <laughs> so I'm already modifying my version. That's interesting. So I should be able to just pull this card out here like this. So now we can see it a little bit easier like that. But I still need this piece up here in order to have the card safe or else it would just hang loose. And the hard drive is a bit long as well. But I wonder if I can can remove it. Okay. So I actually have put in DP and SV down here. I wonder if that's the people that have uh, tested it to see that it works. So there we go. I've removed it. Let's see if I can put the hard drive in, down here now. should be that way but we see that the connector for the hard drive is too close together so you can't put in this kind of hard drive so we actually need to have SSDs in this one so that is interesting and a fun fact so now you know that don't try to do what I do <laughs> Don't try to cheat the system, put in a hard drive in where it shouldn't be. Uh, and, and these hard drives that is in a two and a half inch factor is not easy to come by. So um, there isn't that many versions of it. Um, but I usually do use those in my systems because the, those are a bit cheaper. Let's see if I can put this together again. Mm, should be able to, right? It was very well put together from the start. So let's see if I can do that again. Get it to clip in. 
it's some it's somebody of the uh, people that create this sees this now they are gonna scream <laughs> and I tried to put it in the wrong way and that will not work of course uh, there we go clipped in quite an in ingenious design I would say and then we see here put the the board back in there Press lightly and then push these down into the grooves again so it's actually secured in the system again. So that's the hardware review here. We have a Noctua fan, you have a fan connector over here, then you have this connector that goes to the Wi-Fi antenna over here. So that small cable easier to see it like this so we have a small cable going over here to this Wi-Fi antenna over here I can put that antenna on here like this easy enough we have this ra Raspberry Pi again we have the motherboard we have this uh, daughter board or the sideboard here and all the connectors that you usually have up here is not used they are into this connector on the side you have uh, a little switch here that is set to normal but you can also set it to rpi boot if you want and it actually says on the card enable flash to flash pi e mmc Unplug the backplane, connect the PC via USB-C, launch the RPI boot on your PC, and then they have uh, the link to that site. And that's written on the actual card. Uh, and they also have, if you want to remove this um, Raspberry Pi Module 4, use a flathead driver Pry straight up or twist and then they have an arrow uh, pointing in where you should put the, the screwdriver So they have written a lot of interesting things here. You have external USB up here So you have an extra connector for that inside of the chassis So you could actually put something there if you want. It doesn't really say more on that card and Here we see that they have a connector for a 5 volt uh, fan so that is also written on the daughter, uh, daughter card here. Pybox backplane uh, Rev 26, it says. So that's a backplane, this card over here where you actually put in the uh, SSDs. So that's pretty much it. A small, quick hardware review of the uh, Pybox. I'm Try, I'm going to try to do more videos about the Pybox. I want to um, both install the normal software, of course, try that out. And then I want to look into um, the modularization. So there is modules for this uh, system where you could... Let's see here, how do I get... They should be overlapping, right? So I guess that I should get it outside of here. So like that. Okay. If the fan is in the way. Yeah. There we go. And I can press it together again. So a little bit of a little bit force. You can actually get it together again. Uh, so there is a system installed on here where you can put in multiple hard drives and have RAID directly in the software, if I understood it correctly. And you can also uh, add extra modules in order to run extra things in here. And what I, what I want to do is put in um, a reasonably sized hard drive then, or two, and see if I can build a module so I can add this to my cluster at home here my Raspberry 
Now well, my uh, normal uh, Ceph cluster. So could I build something that could run in a Pi box that could be a part of my cluster? That's the question. Um, so it seems like my camera up here has died. That was interesting. Uh, let's see if it can restart or if it's dead forever. Yeah, there we go. I'm back. <laughs> so that was what I wanted to show you today. It's a bit of a different video uh, and I didn't really succeed in what I wanted to do with this. Uh, so now I know that I need to create uh, get some uh, SSDs or thinner hard drives because this one is a thick boy. <laughs> but it, then again, this thick boy is five terabytes of data. So that I should put that to use in my Ceph cluster anyway. But I need to uh, get some SSDs that are much thinner. And um, yeah, this was the, ra the Raspberry Pi box uh, from CubeSale. And they, you can go to their homepage, uh, just search for CubeSale and you will find it and buy these yourself. But because of the ship shortage and because of uh, the hard, hard, you have a hard time to actually get um, Raspberry Pis, you might uh, be required to wait a bit for this. But then again, it's a really fun project. So I highly recommend you to get one of these. And um, if you like this video, it's a little bit different, then give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.